How you doing, fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here. For all you Intel enthusiasts out there who is patiently waiting for Intel's 14th generation, there are some very interesting and juicy leaks out there about this new processor that is about to be released when it comes to mobile processing, when it comes to laptops, and I do have information about desktops. Not only are you gonna learn about those processors, but I'm also gonna mention details about release dates and more. So first things first, the first thing I'm going to mention here is about Intel's 14th generation Meteor Lake processors when it comes to their laptop side. As you know, or if you don't know, that a lot of their prior generation, well, their current generation, I can say, for their 13th generation processors when it comes to their laptops, they either have six performance cores or they have eight performance cores and eight efficiency cores. As you know, Intel are hybrid processors, so they work with both performance and efficiency. But to get straight to the point here, that they are gonna switch up their strategy, and instead, they're either gonna go eight performance cores or 16 performance cores throughout their whole lineup. So this is gonna be a big change for them, and it is a hint what we can expect, especially when it comes to the refresh of processors and from when it comes to their new processors such as Meteor Lake. So this is a new strategy when it comes to Intel. Comparing it to something like the 13650HX, their 14650HX, or maybe their 14500HX, there will be a slight change when it comes to their performance and efficiency cores. So instead of having six performance cores and eight efficiency cores, they're gonna go eight performance and eight efficiency. It's gonna be a slight variation and a slight change when it comes down to it, but how much will it really affect battery and how much quicker will we notice the difference when it comes from the whole 13th generation chipset? Here is also another change that is looking to happen is when it comes to Intel's XE graphics, their iris displays when it comes to their processors. Instead of actually using their family graphics, which nobody likes, if you haven't seen the video I mentioned before about Intel's processors, their 14th generation, I do have the card right above me, but there are going to be some slight changes when it comes to this very processor. As you know, or if you don't know, their processor is about 20 watts to 65 watts, so it can boost up to 2.2 gigahertz, all the way up to 4.8 gigahertz. Now, it's a little bit competitive when it comes to their own Raptor Lake, which is their i9-1370P, which boosts up to 5 gigahertz. It doesn't compare to that when it comes down to their 9 Ultra series. When it comes to their XELPG graphics, it will also include up to 4.5 teraflops. In their subsystem, when it comes to their processor for their XE cores, they have up to 8 XE cores, 128 execution units, and it goes up to 1024 shading units of their FP32 cores which is a big boost and very comparable when it comes to AMD's Phoenix APU. It doesn't quite reach AMD's APU such as the Z1 Extreme where they go up to 8.2 teraflops and it has a clock of 4.8 gigahertz, but Intel is working its way up there as this is just the start when it comes for Intel. Now, Intel does have to do a lot to compete with AMD when it comes to their Phoenix APUs. We could use some more fierce competition when it comes down to it. But as you know, when it comes to Meteor Lake, they will also use their Intel Process 4 technology, which is Redwood Cove and also Crestmont Cove, which will be interesting to see how well it benchmarks compared to its current generation. Now let's move on to the whole desktop side when it comes to Intel's i5 at 14700K. There are some alleged benchmarks when it comes to their desktop version of the 14700K. It's very similar to the 13850HX, but it is not quite. They do feature the same core count and thread count. It has up to 20 cores and 28 threads. It shows that it goes up to eight performance cores, but the efficiency cores are yet unknown, but it is rumored that it goes up to 12 efficiency cores. The whole difference is their whole frequency range when it comes to their Intel 14700K, comparing it to its mobile unit, which is the 13850HX, 3.4 gigahertz versus 2.1 gigahertz. They are two different animals here. When it comes down to the release dates, you can expect the desktop variant to be released 
in, of October 17th to October 23rd. As quoted from ECSM, these processors or Intel processors will be released of week 42 of 2023, which falls on that very week. So you can expect the price range to be around the same. You can expect to get a 14900K Ultra 9 at the price of $649.99. And if you're lucky to have a micro center around you, you can pick it up for $599. 99 USD for this processor. You can expect the price points to remain the same when it comes to their 14700K and their 14600K and so on. Now you can expect the non-K variants to be released about a month later and you can expect the laptops a month later than the desktop variants. And you don't have to worry about switching up your motherboard when it comes to these new processors because they will fit fine in Intel's 1700 socket. You can actually have a Z690 or a Z790. It will also work perfectly fine. Now there is going to be a refined version when that will be released later this year, which will be a Z790S, which is practically just a little upgrade from a Z790. Don't expect a large leap from it, but there's probably going to be more memory frequency compatibility, and there's going to be some slight differences when it comes to their new motherboards. Hopefully you found this content very useful. If you did make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is a fan of PC and tech, make sure you share this video with them. If you're not part of the big wonderful fan bam already, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And also for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So fam bam guys, are you looking forward to Intel's 14th generation or are you gonna sit out and wait for the next generation when it comes to Intel's 15th generation or are you gonna go with AMD instead? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.